Oh, happy Easter. What it means to us. What does Easter mean? When I was much younger, it meant that I could eat candy again. And one Easter, while we were sitting in Mass, like good little boys and girls that we, or boys that we were, there was a neighborhood kid up a few rows and off to the left who had attacked his Easter basket so much after 40 days of not having candy, he passed out. <laughs> True story. You can ask my mother, she's sitting over there. He is risen. What do we say? Indeed, he is risen. No, hallelujah. Let's try it again. He is risen. The tomb is empty. He walks. Lent is over. Or is it? You know, when we're different stages in our life, we have different understandings of Lent. When we're in grade school, sister says you have to give something up. And as we grow in our relationship with God, we realize Lent is not about so much giving up, but it's about doing something to change. You can give up candy, and then Easter morning, eat so much you pass out. And what does it do? Two thousand years ago, the stone was thrown aside. Jesus, after going through his journey of life, that journey that showed us and was meant to show that, yes, we can do this. We can take part in the divine. Yes, we know, even as flawed as we are, that we have a share and a chance to hit the big time, to enter into heaven. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know, every day, we get out of bed. We stumble to the bathroom. Turn on the shower. Realize we haven't put the coffee on, so it's an oh crap moment. Then we fumble our way into the kitchen, throw some grounds into a filter and throw some water in, and follow the walls along to the bathroom so that we can take a shower and kind of wake up. And then we walk out. If there's anybody there, we grumble to them as we walk through because we have not had caffeine yet and we all know that is not a want, that is a need. We have a few cups of, or a few drinks of coffee and we begin to put words together into sentences. Our eyes light up to where we can actually see where we're going. And somewhere along the line, during this whole process, we end up looking into a mirror. And I know for me personally, <clears throat> in the morning when I look in that mirror, the first thing I say to myself is, other than, oh crap, is, is the person looking back at me the person I want to be? And then I pray, very quickly, Dear God, I'm a work in progress. Help me to be better. Help me to be better. Help take me away from those things that I do that are deadly to my body and to my soul. Raise me up from the death of who I think I am <clears throat> into who you want me to be. 
Let me enter that empty tomb and feel the power, the might, and the thunder of your love as it embraces me. Help my prayer become tangible. Make it take on life. May I pray for the poor, then feed them. Let my time of silence be time that I hear your voice. And let that voice transform me into the glory of Easter. 2,000 years ago was not just a single event. He not only raised himself, but every day from this point on, we walk in that salvation and he raises us up from our own personal death. He causes us to become fully human. To take part in that balance of our flawed humanity and the divine perfection. He brings us into his life. He embraces us with love that <clears throat> has no bounds. He causes us to love one another. Not just family, not just friends, not even just those acquaintances that we know, but all humankind. The resurrection, the walking through the life into the light is meant, if we let it, to shift us into right relationship with the Father. To be fully human is to love fully. To be human is to overcome daily the fact that we believe in a person that we cannot see, we cannot hear, we cannot touch, we cannot smell, per se. Because every time we walk out this door and we can smell the sweet air, every time we hear the cry of a newborn or a child, a giggle. And sometimes the newborns have a tendency to let us know about smell as well. Um, <laughs> but we see the glories of nature. And we see Christ in the person that walks before us. With us. And you know something? The message of today is that. The message of today is that we are not alone. The message of today is, my God is not dead. And the church says, Amen. Or, Hallelujah. Remember, this is Easter, folks. <laughs> my God will walk with me. Hallelujah. My God lives with me. Hallelujah. I can rejoice in my God. Hallelujah. Because my God lives. And so do I. Please, God, let me and all of us act accordingly. Amen.